Hello, Fragrance Fam, and welcome back to all of our subscribers, and hey to all of those who are just tuning into our channel for the first time. We're so glad that you're here. I'm Caitlin, and today I'll be showing you how to make some adorable little snowflakes wax melts with our enchanting snowdrift fragrance. This is a great beginner's project, or just a simple idea for you to add to your existing line of candle products. To start, you'll want to pick a good wax for making wax melts with. I love GW464 because it comes in an easy to use flake form and it throws just about any fragrance super strong. I only need to melt down three and a half ounces of wax in total to fill my snowflake molds. Pop it in a double boiler or a wax melting pot to get it liquid. Make sure to keep an eye on it as it melts down so you can watch the temperature. While that's being taken care of, let's take a look at our molds. These are silicone baking molds that are usually used for chocolate making. Molds like these are great for making uniquely shaped wax melts, and they come in so many different shapes and sizes. These little snowflake cavities are the perfect size to pop in a wax warmer. To give your melt a glittery surface, sprinkle in a pinch of iridescent flaky glitter. For a pop of icy color to match the fragrance I'm using, I'm also adding a touch of light blue glitter. Evenly sprinkle them into the bottom of your molds and check in on your melting wax. GW464 melts down pretty quickly, so it looks like I'm ready to add my fragrance. Let me do a quick temperature check. And it's perfect. I'm at 185 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm just gonna pop this out of the double boiler real quick so I can add my scent of choice. Our snowdrift fragrance opens with a fresh and icy top notes of eucalyptus and pine. The heart and base notes are surprisingly warm, making this scent the perfect combination of wintery aromas. Stir the fragrance in for at least a minute, making sure it's really distributed in the wax. With that mixed in, I'm ready to pour. Carefully fill up each snowflake, keeping the lip of the pouring container real close to the mold to make sure that the melted wax doesn't stir up the glitter too much. Ah, there you go. With each of them poured up, I'm going to let them cool for a couple hours until they're room temperature. Then we'll take a look at them. Here we go, guys. Aren't they cute? Using glitter in your wax melts is a fun and easy way to make them pop. The colors you choose can pair with your fragrances and really send the scent out of the park. You can package these up in jars, cellophane baggies, or cute little boxes with decorative filler. Add a custom brand label and you're all set to add these to your winter line. With that, we're all done for today. I'm excited for all of the other holiday projects I have in store for you, so stay tuned by subscribing to our channel and ring that bell icon. If you haven't already, check out our socials linked below to get connected with us and become a member of the AFI family. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.